2009 could be remembered as the year of the hawk in Lethbridge. The number of sightings within city limits suggests they're moving in. And as Shaw TV's Tom Yeoman says, they're bringing with them some behaviors city folks might find strange. It's morning and a hawk cries out on a streetlight. This isn't a usual bird call for this locality, at least not yet. Most birds take to the trees, unlike this raptor who's out in the open and calling. Uh, well, this time of year the babies are hopping out of the nests and some of them are on the ground nearby. And so uh, what the parents are often doing is vocalizing or calling to their young. They've moved in. Swainson's hawks are not only settling into the urban environment, they now breed here. Just over the past five or ten years, we've noticed they've been coming more and more acclimatized to people and uh, fringe urban development. So now they're actually sometimes moving into industrial parks and also nesting sometimes in people's front yards. There are Swainson's hawks at the Alberta Birds of Prey Centre. Their chest feathers indicate not only the species, but the age of each bird. Like the bird on the pole, this one is a mature hawk. This bird is a year old. And here's the baby a two-month-old fledgling brought into the center from Granham. As soon as they wake up in the morning, you know, they're going to start vocalizing, possibly communicating with their youngsters, finding out where they are, and then start the hunting process. These birds are territorial and defensive. Swainson's hawks are known to attack people who get too close to where they nest, a call on human neighbors to extend a certain measure of respect. Well, well, if people know of a nest that's uh, like in a backyard or near an industrial area, quite often the best thing is just to try to observe them from a distance and uh, not linger too often uh, like around the base of a tree, wherever a nest might be. This, this type of hawk have been known to, to swoop down towards people in a bit of an attacking type of gesture and uh, sometimes that can be a little bit unnerving and scary. When we see hawks, they're often in flight. Like most birds, though, they spend up to 80% of their time roosting. They like clear views from where they perch, nesting close to open areas where their prey live. Urban pets, for the most part, are not at risk. Swainson's hawks feed on gophers and mice out in the open. Part of the reason they nest in the fringe of our urban areas is because there's a lot of ground squirrels that do nest, for example, along our highway artery throughways, like Highway 3 in Lethbridge or Deerfoot Trail in Calgary and as well as industrial parks. You know, you've got a little bit of wide open area where the hawks can swoop in and catch their food, and that's why these birds find it a good place to live and nest and raise their young. The parent shifts position at last, settling not that far away, still calling to its city-born young. A young hawk must be ready to migrate by summer's end to destinations far south of here. The young ones that leave the nest have to be physically fit, learn how to fly and hunt, and start on their migrational travels, which can take them all the way to Argentina. So it's a very fast learning curve they have to go through. It's been a good year for attendance at the Alberta Birds of Prey Centre, despite the recession. The centre's staff hope attendance will be strong right up to its last day open. We're open daily uh, from 9.30 to 5 p.m. And our last day we're going to be open this season is uh, Sunday, September 13th. And uh, we just like to invite everybody to come and see us. Tom Yeoman, Shaw TV.